Kodama is a techno thriller RPG set in a modern world where humanity, technology, and ancient beliefs intertwine in an age old conflict. A secret war is happening involving supernatural creatures from legends and myths called Adma. Use Kodama to harness their power, join the war behind the veil, and discover the truth hidden in the shadows. As the war expands into new territories, Kodama is looking to recruit new ranks of seekers in our crusade for the truth. A mystery remains to be uncovered, and the unseen creatures of the dark are yours to command. As calamity looms upon us, only you can turn the tides. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kara here with another video, and today's video is sponsored by Code Atma. The first time it's going worldwide is going to be August 19th. Pre-register for this game right now in the link down below. But in the meantime, I figure I would give you guys my first impressions on this game. I think this game is really good to play as you're waiting for other games, like whatever normal games you're playing currently. You can pick this game up in the meantime as you're waiting for energy, or if you just have a lot of downtime in that game, you can pick this game up. It's actually pretty fun to play. And so the gameplay is actually pretty cool. So here, let's get into it really quick. Just kind of give you guys my first thoughts and I'll, I'll talk about it as I'm playing it here. There's a lot of strategy when it comes to abilities that the characters have. There's different types of characters like tank, support, healer, and then elements play a factor in it. So the game's actually pretty deep, but also at the same time, it's pretty chill if you just want to auto it on the side as you're, you, so you can still be progressing. And then when you actually want to focus on the game, uh, there's actually a lot of depth to it. So as I'm autoing it here, then once the bar fills up at the bottom here, that's when you can actually use your abilities. Benefit, especially in the beginning of the game, you're going to probably burn through. Usually these games ramp up in difficulty pretty hard. We'll, we'll see when that actually happens here, but I'm just trying to give an idea of how the game works. I think the coolest part about this is the potential training you can do. And like, for example, there's a lot of abilities where this, you give someone like a crit rate up buff. And then when they get crit rate up buff, they give an attack buff. And then when another person gets an attack buff, they give a defense buff and it, you kind of chain through. And then that's all based on your positioning based on, um, you know, if you have the right elements or right abilities that kind of synergize together and the more ammo you pull, the, the more options you have. And there's actually quite a bit of uh, characters you can pull in this game. Uh, this is to allow for a lot of different combinations in the beginning We're just gonna be able to burn through these guys I like that it has a 4x speed a lot of these games are stuck with like a 1 or a 2x Whereas this game actually has a 4x which is kind of nice So based on different situations you can go like this character uh, deals 100% damage to one foe with uh, the most buffs and then extra 120% damage for each buff on the target if you're facing a guy that's buffing a whole bunch you can use this character to specifically counter them uh, or you can use, for example, this character where it's uh, strike random uh, foes two times with 160% damage and then uh, gives 32% block up buff to this ammo for three rounds. And then when she successfully blocks an attack, give the ammo 20% attack up buff for three rounds. So she synergizes with herself and then other characters, for example, this character heals based on her attack and then also gains extra benefits of having more fire characters on the team. So you can kind of start to see that as you get you know, either more fire characters or if you're facing people that buff people, you, you can really build your teams around and they give you a lot of um, versatility there in strategy. Okay, and you can kind of get an idea what the rewards are here and then what enemies you're going to be facing. I'm assuming later down the line when you get further into the game, that's really going to matter. I, I like that they do the elemental advantages, you know, the typical format of whether you got the normal elements here and then you got uh, lunar versus solar. Um, that They... Uh, are strong against each other but then the other ones have kind of a rock paper scissors thing going on but only but there's four of them um so we can start the attack up here let's just kind of grind through some of these matches here you can um, do your abilities this is going to be really important to make sure you hit these especially probably later down the line so let's, let's take a look at the ammo here let's try to get an idea of what the best strategy would be for example uh deals 90 percent damage to all foes in the front row then give 50 speed up buff to all allies in the same row for two rounds. So we want to make sure that this guy is going to be in the same row as our main characters. And then um, this person heals all allies based on 40% attack. If the ally is fire, we don't have any extra fire, so we don't get the extra benefit there. Uh, when this MA has less than 50% HP, once every battle, give 50% CRD up buff to self for three rounds. And then this character, when successfully blocked, oh yeah, this is the character that self buffs her uh, it's a lot of self buffing with this character so strikes a random foe two times with 160 percent damage then uh 32 percent block up buff to this ammo uh for three rounds and then when successfully block an attack give this ammo 20 percent attack up kind of like a selfish style character but 
uh, still seems pretty good. This is the one that's good against buffs. So, for example, gain, uh, gain an extra 120% damage for each buff the target has. It was pretty clutch, and then when you pulled her, you face a guy that gives himself a ton of buffs, so then they, you're like here, they, it's kind of teaching you the mechanic uh, there, and was very useful, did a ton of damage there. Let's get into another match now that we kind of get an idea. Let's actually make sure we have our mage looking guy go in the front. And we'll just have everyone in the same, as many people in the same row as possible. Uh, I'll probably put them in the, in the back row. So like we'll go back row. Oh, uh, okay. We will, we can put them all. So like what they're doing is that you can only have a couple in the back row. Cause I believe they're going to be hitting the front row first. We'll gain more buffs here if we keep them all in the same row. So let's do that. And then gain the speed up buff on the entire row here, even though we're squishier, who cares? We'll just do it. We got some crits there to clutch it out, but yeah, nice to see in, in, a, in a way that it's a, it, these are not pushover matchups in the beginning. You want to make sure you're really leveling up people as much as possible, taking advantage as many synergies as possible to be able to progress even in the beginning of the game. Like they're not going to just give you freebies uh, for a while, uh, which is kind of nice. And then it looks like we unlock some more stuff here. We could cover this probably in another video, but I'm going to end the video here. So I think that's really cool. That's my first thoughts on this game. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Again, this game goes live worldwide on August 19th. Be sure to pre-register for it on the Google Play App Store. And with that, guys, I am out. Peace.